Yo, 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 what is up everybody, Popo here, bring guys a new video, and today we're going to be talking about the top players going into the World Championships. Let's go. Welcome everybody, and today we're going to be talking about the North American players to watch at the World Championships this year. Uh, I went through a long list and I kind of picked out a few that I thought have a good chance to do well at this tournament um, and I'm really excited to see how they do perform and see if these lists are going to be correct. Today we're going to do the North American uh, and then I'm also going to do the Europe, International Oceania and then I will do um, the the like Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, the, the countries that use the different format. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video for those as well. So the next few videos you're going to see are going to be ranking these players. Um, but yeah, uh, we got the top five North American players right here. Uh, there's so many people to choose from in these lists that it's really, really hard to pinpoint. You can go, oh, well, let's just pinpoint the people who are at the top of the list. But I don't necessarily think those are the players to watch. I think that there are some other players that I have picked that are definite watches and uh, you're going to have to keep your eye out and they could surprise people for different reasons, but just because they are fantastic players at the end of the day, um, as is pretty much everybody else who has earned a, a world invite. Um, but the first player I want to talk about is going to be our number five, and that is going to be Aaron Trailer. So the reason why I picked Aaron Trailer is because he's... He's had two world top 16 finishes, and you can see he won 2020 Dallas Regional Champions, but he is a great team builder. Very good with uh, EVing his Pokemon, uh, figuring out Kelks and stuff like that. Really, really, really solid player. Uh, has a very good team building um, team. So, you know, like Wolf Glick, Marcus Stretter, and some others, they are putting out fantastic teams over and over again. Um, so, I think. He has a really good chance to maybe break out, get a top four, maybe even, you know, be in the finals. I think he's a very, very good player. He just got his master's degree, so maybe he's not being held down by schooling right now, so can focus more on uh, the VGC aspect. But we say that uh, this was the last team that Aaron Trailer used, and that was actually at the, um, I think it was at the International, and uh only got top two no top 250 i think it was so didn't perform particularly well only had really two good finishes this year which was enough to earn that invite and um yeah we had the top eight finish that we saw and that was with the mirai Don ditto team and like i said with this team did not perform very very well also had another top 16 during the season but i think it's a player put their mind to it they can focus you know that whole team has been focusing all season got their invites pretty early so they could be able to uh just work hard and really try to push for a world championship win from at least one of them so um definitely a player to watch uh i'm interested to see what team that they bring and if aaron trailer is able to pilot that team successfully uh our next player number four is a uh classic paul chua a six-time regional champion won the uh european international championships in 2022 and got world top four uh, this is a player i'm always rooting for i might be a little biased because paul did raid me one time and follow me on twitch so you know you know maybe i'm a little biased but no i've always been a paul chua fan since i started watching so um big respects he hasn't really had a big finish this year and worlds could really be that tournament for him maybe that's the one that he needs um ben i don't want to say bad finishes because he's been finishing pretty well day twos all year long but just like i said didn't have that breakout performance this year like he did the last couple of years where he was uh you know on top of the world kind of and um yeah I i'm hoping that paul chua can really bring it home do very very well and you know maybe win the whole thing you know get past that world's top four and uh just go up to that next level so Paul Chu, definitely somebody I'm always watching at these regionals, and hopefully we get some more stream sets. We did get one from the North American International Championship, so that was uh, pretty, pretty exciting. I was pretty happy about that. And our next person at number three is going to be James Beck. So James Beck uh, won a regional pretty early on and is a four-time regional champion, two-time world's top four competitor. 
Uh, that's a crazy statistic. That's uh, that's not easy to do. There's only a handful of people who have uh, who have gotten top four more than once. Uh, there's only a handful of people who've gotten top, world's top four. Um, so uh, credit to him. Uh, he's a fantastic player. Makes good content. If you don't watch James Beck's content, definitely go watch it. But the main thing is James has been taking a break kind of like what wolfie has been doing where he won a regional early on so it's kind of just been relaxing probably following the game like more closely in, like in depth than he normally would trying to go to these regionals and trying to figure out his world's team early on so that way he can be prepared have the matchups he also has a very fantastic team building group um that's going to uh really help him uh propel him and i don't know if he's working with anybody from beast coast but that could be an outlet for him as well so um fantastic player i'm excited to see what james beck does i'm always another player i'm always following at these regionals uh because i like to uh, see him on the stream matches because he just he's so composed when he's up there that it's uh it's really impressive there's nothing on it like you cannot read this man like he is deadpan he's he's just playing his plays and doing what he needs to do so i, I respect it and uh I, re I really enjoy his play style so uh and number two is gonna be xia lang tang uh this is a player that might not have had like the most flashy of seasons but has really good good finishes all year long with very very unique teams this uh is a very creative team builder and this is somebody who can do something like sage and park did back in 2014 and really break through the meta with a very niche mon and kind of did it with this team right over here with the wo chien and um got top eight at the north american international championships uh like this team is kind of is kind of wild honestly part of the tang uh gang so um has a really good uh group around him so he can team build and play test again so uh we had the regional champion of hartford i was there you know i, I was i was close I, I didn't do well um but the hartford regional champion and uh yeah just a fantastic player and somebody who i don't think has been playing for that long maybe a couple of years and has already really shown that they are a mainstay at the top end of these brackets so uh going into the world championships this is definitely a player that i want to see how well that they can do and really see what team that they're going to bring you know are they going to bring this team are they going to bring chandelier are they going to bring you know, Tyranitar, they've they've kind of done it all all season, and we've seen so many variations of, of a lot of these teams, and it's just been fantastic to watch. Uh, I love watching uh, his sets because, like I said, the teams are so unique, so different, and his play style is uh, really fun to watch. So, uh, number two player. I think, I honestly think he could win the whole thing. I really, really do. Um, and number one... Is Wolf Glick, right? I mean, you got to know it was Wolf Glick. I mean, he's a nine-time regional champion. He won Worlds. You know, uh, he won two regionals just this year. After he won the first one, he's like, oh, I'm not going to go to any more events. And then he did, and then he won. And then it's like, and then he went to two more events and also did very, very well, um, including the international championships and all, uh, the regional right before that, LA regionals. Uh, I think it was LA, right? He did particularly well. And this man is just, he's just on next level. And he really said it and capital, uh, cap, uh, he really, he said it and really like took it to heart. I'm going to say it that way because I can't say that word for some reason. Um, and that was, I'm going to just start using good teams. Why do I have to use teams that I think are good and try to be the best player when I could just use really good teams and try to be the better player, right? So that's what he's doing. He's bringing good teams. As you can see, this is not a Wolf Glick special right here. And, I mean, he is doing fantastic. Um, he's, he won a tournament with a similar team. Might have even been the same team um, for some World's Invite stuff, like um, some travel cost thing. And, um, yeah, he does invite early, and he's just been kind of chilling, making videos, like doing his thing. And he said he's in a really good headspace. Once again, great team building partners he got aaron trailer marcus stratter he got a bunch of people there that he's going to be able to bounce ideas off of and play test with and uh, at the top level these are going to be the best people in the world so 
Wolf Glick's going to put himself in a very good position. The last few worlds he has not performed very well at. Um, since 2017, he hasn't really even cracked day two. So um, it's going to be really interesting to see how this adjustment has been made, where he's kind of backing off, and if he's going to, uh, how hard he's going to push for worlds right now compared to doing content. I think it's going to be 90% pushing for worlds and 10% uh, content right now because uh, I, I think he's going to lock in. And I think that is scary for everybody in the whole world because he's already the best player in the world. And the best player in the world locking in is a scary concept. So, anyways, guys, that is my top five list of North American players to watch at the Worlds 2024. If you have any that you want to watch or you think that are going to take the whole thing, let me know down below. If you like the video, make sure you guys thumbs it up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.